I've been meaning to finally get back to the show, and it's unfortunate that this won't get a season two. It's a good show. Basically, Superman plus The Incredibles plus a mature tone, but not Zack Snyder Dark. Speaking of Superman, the main hero here, Utopian. When it comes to discussions of Homelander versus all these other Supermen, no one talks about this guy. Utopian is a mutate, but the powers he and his Justice League were given is cosmic level. So Homelander stands no chance against Utopian. He would beat his ass. The main thing about this show centers around the code. Y'all know the freaking code I'm talking about. I haven't talked about this in a video, but when it comes to the freaking code, I always say Superman and Flash will be able to back up that code with their powers. Because most villains would not mess with them. A bunch of Barry's rogues, they have a code of their own. They're honorable. Heck, they respect him. So there's not a lot of beef there. And with Clark's villains, most of his powerful villains are up in freaking space. Except, uh, Livewire, Parasite, and Cyborg Superman. But still, Superman has the power to back it up. To take down these villains without throwing them in the casket. All the super-powered heroes get back up the code. Unlike powerless Batman. But in Jupiter's legacy, here's the problem. Villains started doing more and more shit. And they started taking out other heroes. And things started with this one tough villain, Black Star, who was about to take out so many heroes at once. Yet Utopia's son took him out. But Utopia didn't like that. And it turns out he was on his son's case about taking out a freaking clone. So of course, through the show, there's the whole discussion of the code, if it's okay to take out villains or not. And every time, the side for the code never has a good answer. But the side that wants to take out villains always has good points. Back to Utopian Sun. He brought up a good point. Why lead a good example if people don't follow? And later in the show, more heroes started getting a dirt nap. To the point that all the heroes that were still alive want to leave the Union. Their Justice League. Because their freaking friends are getting buried in the ground. And they can't take out the villain. They gotta let them live. Man, my Kryptonian OC will not tolerate that. So there's all that going on in present day. And they're trying to figure out who the villain, the big villain behind all this is. And they also show the main hero's origins. Can we please stop doing the Christopher Nolan route of handling origin stories? I'm really sick of that now. Just show the origin first. Not show present day, go back to the past, feel flashbacks, and go back and forth. I'm really tired of that. First Batman, then Man of Steel, then Arrowverse, Green Arrow show went way overboard with that. So the origin, it was quite a journey for the main team to get their powers. And what I did like was that the setting was an old setting in the, in the 1930s and 40s because the Great Depression happened. Heck, the team were active as heroes in that old era. I can't think of other cases where that happened besides Watchmen, but that was the 60s. So back in present day, the team thought the villain was Sky Fox, who is a former member of the team. That later went villain, and we unfortunately never got to see how that happened. There's this one bit I liked with Utopian's brother, who was interrogating a villain who they thought was the main threat. I like telepaths now. This dude made the villain, he manipulated his brain to make him forget how to breathe. Now I know over in Deadpool and Wolverine, you had Xavier's evil sister, who was messing with people psychologically, with her telepath powers. But doing something like making someone forget how to breathe? That is insanely OP! Why didn't Xavier do that to Wanda? <laughs> Wait, never mind, he would never do that. But just imagine what other nightmare physical shit a telepath could do to you. Forget reading minds. Imagine making somebody forgetting how to walk. Or making someone forget how to speak. Anyway, it's fitting that I brought up Xavier's evil sister because Utopian's brother is the villain the whole time. Walt is the villain. Stop looking at me like that. So yeah, Walt is the villain. He definitely intends on going to Justice Superman on that Earth. But again, there isn't going to be a season two. This show ends at a freaking cliffhanger. Sky Fox is just freaking missing. In fact, his son is trying to look for him. And Walt offs his own freaking daughter. 
So yeah, that just cements how evil he is. And speaking of daughters, Utopia's daughter, Chloe, oh my god, I hate this chick. You and your brother were raised on good values and shit. Utopian was obviously in their lives. So y'all had a great life growing up. Good values, good standards and all that. Yet the daughter, who also has powers by the way, goes into modeling and has an insane drinking and, uh, shall we say, unsafe prescription problem. She's just a freaking disgrace to her bloodline. In fact, the Sky Fox son, he and his crew were in the middle of a heist. They bumped into her accidentally and they dropped what they stole. A case of quote unquote blue magic. And she steals that, takes it to her freaking apartment and snorts it. <laughs> Just snorted that shit in the party that she started. That's how bad her prescription problem is. You take this random shit off the street, you don't know what's in it, and you just use it anyway. Now I thought because of her powers she can't feel the side effects, but she wouldn't mess with that stuff if she could. She took this shit, and she's lucky there's no freaking superhero side effects. Or maybe there would have been in the season two. Like seriously man, this freaking chick that's just an adult violent par that went down the bad path. Hopefully someone picks up this show. Or making a movie. Mainly for the cool costumes. Like it's ironic that this mature show had colorful costumes. Yet Zack Snyder couldn't do that. One more thing about the stupid code. I wish, maybe it already exists, I wish there is a comic run, a comic story where the heroes did take out villains and everything else is just fine. No one becomes a dictator, no one tries to rule the country, none of that. Just take out villains, cities are peaceful with barely any crime, and everything else is just, just fine. 